It's really super windy today. Um, I'm back about seven or eight miles. Let's see, I uh, bought my poncho tarp for shelter. here uh, I mean there's no prospecting this next four days too but I got some uh, pork and beans some garlic spices steak maybe potatoes with butter some mushrooms hot chocolate coffee this is the dressings that you get the uh, oil and vinegar dressings that you get at Walmart World market. I just put A1 in it. And then uh, this I got here, and this beer was here. And I thought my friend Matt was back there. He left me that beer, but when I'm getting ready, I hear them come in. John, Zach, and Matt all came in. And Matt brought his traditional 20 pounds of meat. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so these guys will be camping down over here on some hammocks. And uh, I got my wood all processed with this saw here. I've already burned probably three times that to get a bed of coals. That burns down to put my steak on. Here's my here's my shelter for the night. Uh, poncho, long ways, so the head would be the face. And the hood is that way. Pegged it out. One, two. The first two of the corners. Trekking poles in there. Come from the hood down. One, two. The third one brought over to a rock. Stake that one down. I got my thermarest in there. Tyvek heat sheet. Thermarest short. The Z light. I got my lamp. My bag's gonna block the wind. Once I put the light out, so there's no chance it'll melt anything, I will block the door with my, uh, oh yeah, having your overquilt. I just don't throw it in there now because I don't want any mice or whatever to get inside there and make themselves at home. Once I what you making, Matt? Chili cheese with steak? Mushrooms? Chili cheese there. steak with mushrooms? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but this is a new one, man. Let's see how it goes. Cheers, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John. Delicious. It, I'll put some butter, some mushrooms, put a little A1 after it sets. After I pull it off, it sets for a few minutes, I'll add some A1. <sighs> Let's see. One candle watt power. It's nice and warm right here. And have all the cheater materials if you want that too. Still a roast of wine or beer.
That's it? It's right there. No, that's the new one. Come here. Come here. Try this. Beans? Oh, yeah. Goes good with the steak, dude. Here, you want to try some? Hmm. Goes I'm good, good with the steak. I'm good. I got a bunch of food here. That sauce is good. Potatoes are good, huh? If these are river rocks, they don't really look like they're too worn around or anything. You guys ever had a fire before with rocks out here? A, river, a dry river? It got them so hot that they started popping. Bombs. Yeah. Rocks? Trap them. Good. This is inside the tarp shelter. Not a lot of not a lot of room, but I'm not getting any wind. The tarp's flapping a little bit, but I'm not feeling any of it. Let me get a, a light on so you can see. My boots down there, camera case, um, my flute, yuccas. Uh, I'm just gonna go to bed, I'll, I'll weave that line tomorrow. Socks that I found, real nice socks. Uh, grass candle lantern. On um, a thing that I made a long time ago, I'll give you a look at that in the morning. One guy line going down, my water out there, backpack and trash bag, uh, my gold pan, my car keys. Finished product. 
there's where the fire pit was put some water in there and then I buried it back up letting this rock cool off then I'll scrape it clean flip it over you'll never know the difference we are actually at the upper Iron Fort campground the bug Trogdens mile maybe two maybe a little bit past Ross Gulch Ross Gulch is actually flowing there's a waterfall uh, I'm gonna try to get a picture of it on the way down it's but my camera was wrapped in this wrapped in this and then wrapped in this and then in this dry sack and then in this dry sack and then with a rope around my neck because you gotta get wet about up to your chest <laughs> to get in and that's some cold water huh Legs totally go numb. <laughs> they go numb. But uh, we are going to leave this camp. Somebody made up here some prospectors years ago. The wall stacked real nice. This might have even been from Trogdon's days. I, I don't know. But if you look on your map, you'll see Ross Gulch coming down to hit Fish Fork, Iron Fork. And then where his iron fork, we're upriver from there. It's really rough going. If you try to climb up on the walls, you probably will fall and probably will get hurt. It's better just to walk up the river. Prior to today, the furthest I've made it up is back maybe a thousand feet. Because each time I tried coming up, the water was too strong. I was by myself and uh, just didn't chance it. This time we left our packs at Iron Fork with a friend of ours and we came up here just, they had nothing in their hands, a little bag with some snacks, but I had my camera. And uh, I showed them, well I'll show them on the way back, they missed it, past a cave that I saw years ago trying to make it up here by myself. It doesn't go in very far. But the water is deep up here. Deep and it's cold. Pretty hairy coming over that, huh, Matt? <laughs> you come up all the way up there and you're right there at that ledge and you have to just step around. There's nothing to hold on to. Like a little eagle's nest. You don't know if there's any footing or not. Then you come over here, when you get over here, you gotta climb down, that doesn't look far, but it's about seven foot from there down to where the leaves are, and there's a little root to hang on. What happened, Matt? <laughs> Matt came back and went down that waterfall. Huh? I made it with a camera, dude. I made that with a camera. Look at the, 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 the error though, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad one if you go down. So what I'm thinking, see how this stone floor, Trogdon, this has been here forever. They laid stone a lot, if you're ever going up, uh, what's that, Padua, Padua, off the 210 to Baldy, you see that rock wall on the left hand side, the east, hand, the west side. How the rocks are there's no cement in that that's all rock it's all they knew how to do that back then but uh there's a floor like this in that camp up there and we just found a high trail that goes back to the bend so it looks like trogdon that might have been trogdon's getaway place i don't know but it goes back there because off to the side of that shelter there's a wall it's about a foot and a half wide with rocks stacked real good and small little pebbles in between there's no way modern day people built that wall modern day guys coming up here that that wall was well built i'm not matt you think that was left over from trogging today probably huh that camp the floor that wall it looks a lot like this doesn't it? yeah it does it looks just a lot like this the whole floor is done like that so we we might have found Trogdon's camp. Trogdon's getaway. We got back later than we expected to from the day hike, so not far from where I was last night, but no destination of mine on this trip. But I use, I think it's called a flying diamond. 
Again, that's the poncho tarp diagonal. I went up there, coming all the way down. The ridge line goes through the around this rock. There's a lot of rocks underneath. Poncho, the the headpiece up over. Just put a slip knot on there and some rocks. And up here, I just put one of those sliding type fisherman knots. If we take the pressure off that, it'll slide up and down. But hooked up there and. I'm gonna be in there this way. A lot more room in this setup. My head will be up here, my feet will be down there. Right now I'm using the uh, Z-Rest to sit on. But this will be my, got a natural wind block here. And there's a mountain here, so I should be okay. Rainbow trout. I brought that in with me. Some green beans and mushrooms in the foil. Some rice. Progress on the trout. I put a little of this seafood seasoning on it. I can hear the green beans boiling in the butter. And this thing's about to kick off. Should be done in about five more minutes. My Boda bag wine holder, an alien spinal column. Look at that. <laughs> Came out good, huh, guys? <laughs> we took the Heineken can and uh, shut this light off here. Split out the sides. Made it a lantern. <laughs> I just sit down, bend it out, and candle in there. I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold. It is freezing back here. Spooking the fire. When you had this taste of this wine, this Belarus wine, what did it automatically take you to? Blackberries. Oh man, I felt like Julius Caesar. Yeah, it takes you back to the Roman days, the Greek days. That, that's some good wine. With <laughs> food, with the right food. One can of what power? So, I've been seeing a lot of mice. So, I'm using the Outdoor Research Bug Bibby. I'm gonna get inside there. I'm gonna block the wind right here with this. In case the wind comes up with this. Put this under here. My lights under there. And uh, use this jacket. And that smog as a pillow. Pretty neat setup though. Surprisingly, a lot of room for a military. This is the Army, US Army military poncho. Surprising amount of room with this setup. In a rainstorm, you could totally stay dry this way. You could fit one person real easy. You might be able to fit two. Might. It'd be tight, but you might be able to fit two. But I think in a rain, I think I'd go for this one more than any other that I've messed around with. So here I am on the ground, fully protected this way from the wind. This way I got a little bit of breeze coming in, but I'll have this up and I have this up. That should be fine. My flute. Some uh, sandals, one of the guys loaned me because my boots are soaking wet. 
Water's within reach. More in the morning. There's, see the ridge line? Ridge line comes right up through here. Shoots up to that tree. It's, it's a nice setup for these ponchos. I believe they refer to this as the flying diamond. I probably had the best night's sleep I've had in weeks last night. It's, the ground is slightly slanted down, so my head was naturally up, my chest was naturally up. I sleep, a little, I sleep better a little bit like that. And uh, it's not real hard ground, it's real soft ground, so I wasn't, I wasn't sliding. I, I, I like this tarp uh, formation. Because the wind is slackened up a little bit, but I like this for formation the best. With an eight by, with a, I'd say it's five by seven or so, five by six. It's not even an eight by ten. It's not five by eight. It's just a poncho. I would say five foot by seven foot, roughly a military poncho. You can check out the specs on. United States Mil Army poncho. My dad was in the Korean War and uh, they had these way back then. This is what he slept in. And now I'm sleeping in it. He had to. I choose to. We're gonna get going. Move on. Um, today, this morning we're separating. They're going one way, I'm going another. Got some coconut pineapple pancakes on the Vargo stove. So here are those bottles, they're like dressings. I have uh, olive oil in two of them. I had A1 in one and I have a syrup, log cabin syrup in the other. You can reuse them over and over. They're perfect amounts for backpacking. Get them at World Mart. World Store. There's one in Brea. I know there's one next to REI in Huntington Beach. The dressing is really good that comes in them too. If you've never tried those coconut pineapple pancakes from World Mart, World Store, whatever it be, you can look right next door REI in Huntington Beach um, online. And uh, I forget the name of that shopping center. Terra, Bella Terra. And uh, try those. You don't even really need syrup, but with syrup, they're even better. Incredible. I'm gonna go back up here and we're about to go our separate ways, so I'm gonna let the guys taste these things. Try it out. <laughs> Coconut pineapple. Don't waste it. Either. It's delicious, huh? How's it, man? Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Crispy. Matt here was <laughs> twitching and twitching and turning all that light in the hammock a little bit of pain Sick. from going up there in the those thick bushes we went up to get up to the upper camp. We went to a bunch of bushes and he was wearing shorts and what happened? Tick to the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he took a tick to the nuts. I got it. Damn vampire fleas. <laughs> well taking off these guys are going fish for so happy new year's man. Happy New Year, Alan. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year, Alan. Happy New Year, Happy New Year's, John. Thank you for everything. <sighs> Pleasure to share it. 
all packed up. Got a little bit of wine left for lunch. Barely any. It's hard saving that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is a grill I bought from the Firebox website. See how one side is just a ring that goes through. The other side, so it can't fall off. The other side is squared and notched. So you can turn on the side, you can turn on four different positions. It's really neat, it's got a double fork. I'll show you when it's all done. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? Got the coals down there. Squaw bread. And the, uh... Well, I'm just gonna have time to eat one of these and then I'm gonna pack the rest up. I'll pack them up, one for my dad, one for my brother maybe. I don't think my mom would eat this, but I'll, this bread should be finished. Pretty neat how that spit works. They look done though. Oh, they're done, look at that. And the squaw bread's done too. And that is delicious. A little drumstick. So good. Way better than chicken. This is the three piece. You got one, it sticks to one side just a washer weld on it. You can make one yourself. Another one, put another washer and cut the top off. Another one, long, square end. Wouldn't be hard to make. Comes with this. Forget how much I paid for that. But it was worth it. You saw how I did those quail, it was awesome. That was the best meal I've had in a long time. One there, one over there, and there's a baby, look at that. They're gonna wait for him. So am I, look at that. There he goes, look at that. Cool. Whoa. 
one down the head. Oh no, there they are. There he is over there. Oh, they did go down, but they're coming back up. Look. My guess is he's looking at the other two. And he's looking at me. Saying, don't tell me what to do. Don't look at me. There's the other one making his way up. Look at that. And there's the other one. Let's see. Ugh. I was up above it. I'm always up above it. Look at that. Whoa! Almost lost my balance. Let me brace myself with my trekking poles and I'll refocus. It's a long way down. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, here comes the wind. I'm not comfortable on this ledge with that wind. Actually following me. Just howling through here. There's gusts coming through here, almost blowing me off the trail. Happy New Year, Canyon. River. Happy New Year to all you guys watching. Man down! <laughs> Man down! <laughs> I took one for the quail. <laughs> <laughs>